Hello everyone, so here we go, we're going to be kicking off a uh, Euro 2020 uh, tournament in uh, Pro Evo 2021, or PES 2021. Um, right, so yeah, if you watch the, friend the friendly matches I did, uh, the last game out I played France and I barely got away with that, got an own goal for me, so I won 1-0. Um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna, I bumped the time up to 6 minutes, so each match... Each length of a half, can't even get my words out, are going to be six minutes in this. We're going to be playing on the professional difficulty and I'm going to be going with my fancy England team. You can check out the last video for that, but we're going to take a look anyway. So, right, um, let's just uh, move up to Euro 2020 now and then let's uh, let's get started with this. So, yeah, we've got number of users, one, professional, six minutes, and we're going to leave injuries on. That might make it interesting. So if we go to the next one... This is where we're going to pick our team. So we go down to England. So there you go. You can take a look. You've got the fancy uh, England team there, as I've uh, mentioned before. And, uh, yeah, let's select England. So um, I believe that these groups are reflective of the actual groups. So as we can see there, England have got Croatia, Scotland, and the Czech Republic. First game is um, well today, actually, isn't it? England going to be playing Croatia, um, and hopefully it's going to be the first game in this tournament as well. So I think there's a little introduction video here, so I'm going to put my headphones on to watch that, and then we'll get started with this. So let's put these big-ass headphones on, and let's press OK now. Oh, that was nice. So, yeah, first game is going to be England and Croatia. Really excited for this tournament now, in, you know, in real life. So let's check out our game plan. Uh, I don't know if form... Oh, damn, you got form in this. So Michael Owen's not good. Uh, I'm not really sure if that makes a difference, but let's pretend it does or whatever. So I'm going to take out Michael Owen for this match. I'm going to put Harry Kane further up, and I'm going to stick Marcus Rashford next to him. So in goal, Jordan Pickford is... Not so good, but goalkeepers don't have to do much, I think. So I'm going to leave him in goal. So um, let's just take a look. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with this team for the for the first game. So as you can see there, we've got Harry Kane, Rashford up front. Then we've got Sterling, Beckham. Uh, in the centre, we've got Lampard and Gerrard. <laughs> uh, from left to right, we've got Chilwell, Harry Maguire, Saul Campbell, Alexander Arnold, and like I said, Jordan Pickford. So... Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let, let's go into the first game. So, stadium, I guess. I can't change the stadium. England's first match is actually going to be at Wembley. So, And I know it's going to be in the afternoon, so we're going to change that today, actually. And, uh, yeah, play it by Munich. So, you know, I can't change the stadium. All right, so here we go. We're going to press kickoff, and let's get on with this match. England clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations. A true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. The 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be, at least for partisan parties, the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Well, that was impressive. Match that.
So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. the way Jim which player is best equipped for this game yeah Harry Kane he's a deadly finisher Peter obviously but he can contribute much more than that for his team he's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play his best attributes however might be his his enthusiasm his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Rakitic. Rebic. He could be in here. Look at oh, shooting chance. Maguire, forward it goes. England still to register a shot on target. Chilwell. And it's Sterling. And here's Kane. Kane! Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Chaletta Shah. Croatia going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Chaletta Shah. Chaletta Shah drives it forward. Vlasic. Over to the left. Vida. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. Vlasic. And it's been taken. Chance! Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Tries to get it forward quickly. Pasalic. Vida, Rakitic, oh, that's neat, and that'll be the final action of the first half, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. <laughs> An intriguing half, lacking only in goals, the score nil nil. And we're underway again. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, We'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Gets away from his... Has a hit! He's been out try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though.
checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Modric. And here's Kane. Sterling. Sterling spreads it towards the left. Has a hit! This could fall anywhere. Danger averted for now. Alexander-Arnold. Battles to win it back. And it's Rashford. And here's Rashford. Kane goes for goal! Goal! And finally, he has breathed life into the game! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Croatia can make their change now with uh, a break and play. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. Chilwell with a definite foul there. Vlasic. And the finish! A real chance and a real let-off. They're probably getting frustrated by the lack of chances, I suppose. Maguire, and it's played forward, and it's Sterling. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Keeper's got good distance on that. It's Kane! Oh, that's a fine save! Kane sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Rebic. Vlasic, it's a loose ball. Rakitic not easily shrugged off the ball. And now the breakaway. England are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. It's found its way to him. Perisic pings it out wide, played back in. Rebic tries to get it forward quickly, and now they can launch a counter. It's Rashford. Rebic. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Just brushed off the ball there. Gets the better of his man. Aimed into a great leap! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's... And there goes the final whistle. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day, and a platform on which to build. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on staying at the top. On this evidence, I think there's every chance, too. Oh, bloody hell, that was, <laughs> that was a close one, wasn't it? Uh, pretty decent goal, finally worked it into the box, but 
I would have hoped I'd been, let's say, winning these games more comfortably. I mean, it's only the first game, but that that was a bit nervy. So, next in real life, we England, we should have uh, Scotland, which I think will be a very interesting match, and I'm hoping it's going to be the same one, uh, the next match in this tournament. So, anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to try and release these uh, each time England have a game or. If they unfortunately go out, we'll just do whatever then. So, yeah, the next one will come whenever England plays Scotland. I can't remember off the top of my head. And, uh, yeah, if you like the videos, uh, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a video at all. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the Euro 2020 stick and collection videos. And, yeah, until then, let's see how England get on. Hopefully they go off to a good start today against Croatia. So, anyway, guys, take care. Stay safe. Don't be a plonker. Enjoy the tournament. And I'll see you in the next video.